Uh, so today I'm going to show you uh, our spectrometer uh, and with it we're able to test uh, different substances um, to see um, what they contain. So if they contain fentanyl or xylazine or benzo, things of that nature. We can put it in this, um, in this little attachment. We'll just pop it in, hook it to the machine and then we uh, select conduct tray scan and again it just takes a few moments and then we'll get our results. In this instance uh, it wasn't able to get a good quality scan so it's going to go back to uh, a reach back support that we have with the company and so a drug technician is going to take a look at it and let us know what the results may be and that can take 24 uh, to 48 hours. So there was fentanyl, Silicine was in at least 10% of those, and uh, benzos were also present. And, and so it clearly points out the variety of additives present. So again, it's, it's to understand what, um, what substance is being used. And the other thing is how we deliver service, remembering that benzodiazepine stimulants Thylacine do not respond to naloxone, right? Only the opioid reverses. And so our staff, what we did is we stepped up the training for staff. Um, the um, longer term staff are all trained like first responders so they can open airways. They can then register um, besides the naloxone oxygen which is, is really been very, very helpful. So knowing what substance they're using is very important, uh, recognizing um, it can influence the response um, when there is a toxicity event.